Bouillon cubes, also known as stock cubes, are small blocks of dehydrated stock that dissolve quickly in hot water and provide flavor to soups, stews, sauces, and many other dishes. They are typically made from herbs, spices, dehydrated vegetables, poultry, meat stock, salt, and a few other food additives. Because bouillon cubes are very convenient, easy to use, and inexpensive, they are a staple of kitchen pantries everywhere. However, the bouillon cube is not an item of food that tends to generate much attention or excitement. For many, it's seen as little more than a culinary hack and a shortcut. It's a quick and easy way of creating a flavor that requires no brain power. Toss one into that watery pot of ingredients, and soon enough, you'll have a tasty broth. Though it might not win any awards for glamour, this small, visually unspectacular block of dehydrated stock is actually more interesting than you'd think. Here is every weird and wonderful thing you could ever wish to know about this cubed wonder. Number 1. The name bouillon comes from the French verb bouilli, meaning to boil. Outside of the U.S. and Canada, the bouillon cube carries a different name, usually known as stock or broth cube. Although there may be contextual differences, bouillon, broth, and stock are very similar, and the terms are often used interchangeably. Celebrated American chef James Beard once stated this rather bluntly, insisting that they are all the same thing. Number 2. Pocket soup was a precursor of meat extract and bouillon cubes. A primitive version of bouillon cubes was invented in the early 16th century Britain, going by the name of portable soup, also referred to as pocket soup or veal glue. It was made by boiling the feet and legs of cattle and drying the resulting gelatinous product, which would then be shaved into small tablets. Pocket soup was mainly used as a military ration for the Army and Navy. Number 3. It took 30 kilograms of meat to produce 1 kilogram of meat extract. The invention of German chemist Baron Justus von Liebig, meat extract was another popular flavorer that preceded bouillon cubes. Meat extract was a lump of high concentrated meat, usually beef, flavoring, designed for soups and broths. This creation's main pitfall was just how uneconomical it was. It took a massive 30 kilograms of meat to produce only one kilogram of extract. Number 4. Bouillon cube as we know it today was invented by a French chef. The bouillon cube is believed to be the invention of Auguste Escoffier, an acclaimed 19th century French chef who was responsible for a number of other food preservation methods, including the canning of vegetables and tomatoes. Number 5. Industrially produced stock cubes were first commercialized by Maggie in 1908. After discovering a method of extracting meaty flavors from wheat, Julius Maggie and his food manufacturing company were the first to mass produce a commercial bouillon würfel, bouillon cube, for the European market in 1908. British company OXO followed this in 1910 and German manufacturer Knorr in 1912. Number 6. Bouillon cubes are great for a long-term storage. Bouillon cubes can last up to two years when stored correctly. This is thanks to their generous salt content, which acts as a preserving agent, making them shelf-stable, and all they need is a dry and cool place, like a cabinet in the kitchen or pantry. Number 7. About 100 million bouillon cubes were consumed during World War I. During the First World War, OXO gave the British Armed Forces 100 million stock cubes, each of which was individually hand-wrapped in foil. This served as an incredible marketing ploy for the company. Stock cubes were an ideal trench food, and the OXO brand became symbolic of the wartime effort. Number 8. Bouillon cubes are a good way to replenish electrolytes and keeping hunger at bay. 
Given their low-calorie content, bouillon cubes are popular amongst dieters. One British man claimed that he lost 100 kilograms by swapping out Cornish pasties in favor of OXO cubes. Makes sense. Bouillon cubes can be particularly useful during low-carb diets, such as the keto, paleo, and Atkins diet, as they contain virtually no carbs and are high sodium, which helps replace lost electrolytes. Number 9. Bouillon cubes may be one of the greatest inventions in gastronomy. Michelin starred chef Marco Pierre White and Knorr brand ambassador once told a reporter that Knorr stock cubes are one of the greatest inventions in gastronomy. It would be fair to say that there was a healthy dose of irony in this statement. Number 10. Maggie dominates West Africa's bouillon cube market, valued at $375 million. Bouillon cubes are extremely popular in Central and West Africa, where 100 million are sold daily and are used to add flavor to everything from soups, rice, cassava porridge, to stews. Maggie, in particular, have a large presence in this region. Their cubes are ubiquitous in kitchens and on billboards, even being used in Senegal's national dish, Thibodean. Number 11. The bouillon cube market is increasing exponentially. On a global scale, the bouillon cube market is huge. Nor alone sells approximately 600 million cubes per second. The 2020 pandemic saw an even greater worldwide demand for bouillon cubes. According to Nor, the period of February and March saw a 70% increase in sales. Projections suggest that the global bouillon cube market will reach $5.9 billion by 2024. Number 12. Bouillon cubes contain staggering amounts of salt. Most bouillon cubes are very high in salt. Some of them are made of 50% salt, which is half a teaspoon of salt, and contain as much as 1,500 milligrams of sodium per one cube. The average recommended amount of sodium is 2,300 milligrams per day for adults. That's equal to about one teaspoon of salt. Number 13. Bouillon cubes are extremely versatile. Bouillon cubes are not only meant for liquid foods. They can be used for seasoning steak, grilled chicken, roast potatoes, and even french fries. For some extra flavor, crumble one cube in cooking oil and warm it in the microwave for one minute. Then rub the oil mixture on your steak, chicken, or roast potatoes before cooking. You can also make a marinade for your meat by blending apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, olive oil, minced garlic, spices, and crumble in one stock cube. Don't add any extra salt. Also, check out my other videos on how to cook a delicious rice using chicken bouillon cubes. I have left the link below this video. Number 14. Even vegetable bouillon cubes may not be vegan friendly. Most meat-flavored bouillon cubes are not vegan. Beef, lamb, pork, chicken, ham, and fish stock cubes contain animal ingredients. Even most vegetable stock cubes are not vegan-friendly and may contain gelatin or E635 or produced in the same environment as non-vegan products. Number 15. And finally, there's the Bull Shot. A spin-off over the ever-popular Bloody Mary, the Bull Shot was a creation of Detroit's historic caucus club during the early 1950s. This peculiar cocktail exchanges the Mary's tomato juice for beef bouillon, certainly an acquired taste. To learn some clever and delicious ways on how to use bouillon cubes in cooking, check out my other video on this channel.